His father passes away due to a workplace incident. There's a lawsuit with the city. The Daniels family wins. And years later, Anton Daniels pops up online talking about, look at my wife. Look at my life. I'm so rich. Look at my car. I'm so rich. Look at my Jordans. I'm so rich. Look at my sneakers. I'm so rich. Look at my Gucci sweater. I'm so rich. Look at my Rolex. I'm so rich. Man, I didn't know um, financing depreciating assets uh, makes you rich or wealthy, but let's go ahead and get into what our anonymous source had to say about Anton Daniels. I'm an anonymous, but I'll tell you that I work in the financial sector. That's how I was introduced to Anton and have information on his financial status. And let me tell you, this man is nothing more than your cliche spoiled trust fund kid. His dad died during a workplace incident, and his family was awarded a large settlement with the state. The reason I know this is because Anton told me during the pre-qualification process, although I won't go into what he was trying to get. And I know it's a bit distorted, but this is a person who works in the financial sector. Anton Daniel was trying to get approved for something, but during the pre-approval process, you gotta look at someone's financial records. You have to look what assets, what liabilities they have. And he's saying straight up, extremely low income, extremely bad credit. And the only thing that he can try to use for proof of funds to secure the financing was money and trust accounts. Oh, and I think we know how he got that money. I think we know how he got that money. But for us, that would directly lead back to me. Either way, I saw he had terrible credit score, very low income, yet he had money he had access to through trust accounts that he was attempting to use as proof of funds. So when I see all this stuff online, when he's claiming to be this huge business mogul, that's total BS. Just like 90% of trust fund kids do, they're insecure about living off their parents as a grown adult, so they lie about their income and even start businesses to make it seem like they're achieving something. And that's where it's right. What did he just say? He said that he sees it all the time when you're dealing with these trust fund recipients when you're dealing with these kids that are tricking off mommy and daddy's money they're what they're very insecure about it they're very very insecure and what do they do they try to start nonprofit organizations they try to start up failed businesses to do what to seem like they're doing something on their own to seem like they actually got something going for themselves and guess what y'all we got receipts on Anton Daniels. I mean, the only uh, verifiable business that we can see that he was a part of was a failed restaurant. Don't tell me that you took mommy's and daddy's money and went and started a restaurant to make it seem like you was doing something and you failed at that. One of the mistakes I made earlier on was that I was still, you know, putting in 60, 70 hours a week in corporate America. Then I had to run my other businesses and then I was supposed to run the restaurant full time too. So, you know, for the better part of a year, I probably only averaged two to three hours of sleep a day. I was profitable. You know, a lot of people can't say that. Hold on, wait a minute. He wants us to believe that he was running a restaurant and working a nine to five and working on other businesses and he was only getting two hours of sleep? Huh. I guess I got to call Cap early, Anton. I gotta call Cap early. And then he's gonna say that he left the restaurant, but the restaurant was profitable. Guys, it can't be both. You don't leave a profitable business. You sell a profitable business. You don't just walk away from a profitable business. I was profitable. You know, a lot of people can't say that they was profitable. I don't believe in failure. But then at the same time, it's like, you know, what is failure? Oh, I don't believe in failure, but what is failure? Okay, let's see what else our anonymous source had to say. And guys, y'all know me as the king of receipts, so that's why I preface this by saying that whatever this anonymous person says, I mean, you can take that information with a grain of salt, you can take it as gospel, that's up to you, but everything that comes after in this stream, I'm going to provide receipts for. So I want to note that he's really screwing up his wife. He already ruined his credit, so now he uses his wife to co-sign for everything. In my opinion, it's just a matter of time before he ruins Damn, he said he's really fucking over his wife. He said Anton already ruined his own credit, so now he's using his wife to co-sign for everything. Damn. ...her credit as well, and I think he uses the fact that she's on the hook as a co-signer as a method to control her and or prevent her from leaving. Because oh, say it ain't so. They go on to say that I think Anton uses Rita being a co-signer on all the loans as a method of control, as a method of keeping her from leaving. 
Wow, Wh why would that prevent Rita from leaving the marriage? If she ever left, you could simply default on the accounts and it would ruin her financially. Anyways. Oh, because if he defaults on the accounts and she's attached to the accounts, then that would ruin her financially. Damn, I always knew that him and Rita had a weird thing going on in their relation. I always knew that, that him and Rita had some strange dealings going on when this is how she speaks about her husband. What is it like being married to Anton Daniels? Oh, Jesus. Wow. Times it can be hard and sad and difficult because Anton has a lot of different personalities and so you have to be a certain type of woman to deal with him. Anton is very emotional. He doesn't communicate effectively. I don't think that he has killed anybody before. I think he's capable of it. I've seen him angry before. He's just like a totally different person when he's angry. He blacks out. Anton Daniels is emotional. She doesn't know if he's killed anybody before. He gets angry and he just blacks out. Rita, blink twice if you need help, darling. Blink three times if you need a uh, first responder sent to your address immediately. Oh my God, oh my God. Make it make sense, y'all. Make it make sense. 